What's up guys, Daniel here, and today we're going to be consuming our vitamin GC today. And right now we are going to go ahead and show that we are facing off again superheroes. Now this isn't the famous superheroes that's high up, it's a lower ranked version. But we're going to go ahead and show, right now, I mean we're going to go ahead and show his stronghold. As you can see, even the superhero stronghold for this guild isn't really that strong. So we're going to go ahead and easily, easily defeat them. If I had to think, I think we're going to go ahead and one shot each of these. But as you can see right now, I was too late for the stronghold and the keeps, as well as the towers. So all we have left are the sentries. So we are just going ahead and seeing what they have. And the highest ranked person, they do have some pretty, pretty not great heroes. Especially since they're using Pounder. Pounder is not a good hero. Like even them, Pounder and Dark Rider. Look at both of those. Those are not good heroes to go ahead and use anymore. But as you can see, this one does. But it is kind of still pretty low level. So we're not going to have a problem. I'm going to be attacking the highest ranked people in that guild. But right now I'm showing my guild clash on it. This time, as you can see on my Ambrosia, I do have a Wrath Aid. We're going to go ahead and try to switch her out with an Ironclad Aid. See how much more damage she can actually do. And I'll put Wrath Aid as an aid for Landslide. Just because they're so easy, so it's not going to really need anything. So right now I'm just swapping out that Wrath. And since my Wrath isn't that strong, I don't use him as a main hero. He is only level 140, unfortunately. But anyways, even though my Ironclad 8 isn't to max skill, it's only level 5A. That's okay. I still want to go ahead and see how he does. See if he's useful at his present stage. Right now I'm just switching out and I'll go ahead and just jump into an attack. Go ahead and attack the highest ranked person which is a level 150. And we're going to go ahead and just attack them and see how we do. And I start off with dropping my landslide. Go ahead and drop everyone over because they are all grouped together. Which will make my toxic shaman skill pretty pretty nice as well as his divine. And right now we're just activating all the divines that we need. And we are saving chariot. Keeping him alive just so that he doesn't get damaged by the lightning blaze from the enemies or just really any sort of damage from the enemies. We'll keep him alive for his chariot divine. And right now we're just trying to get as much damage from the skills as possible within the time. And right now we are already up to, we're already down to 50%. We're even lower than 50% now. This is just a steamroll attack. But we're just finishing this up won't be too much longer before we go ahead and clear out the space the only thing that's holding us up is the town hall for just a little bit and we cleared that so right now we're just finishing up this attack and go ahead and come back for the second attack Okay, and now we are on our second attack. We'll go ahead and show their Ambrosia and the aids as well. I like to go ahead and view that. Alright, now we're going to be attacking the level 110, which is the second highest level. And I'll start off with the same drop. I'll be dropping Landside to draw everyone over. And we did manage to draw four heroes, which is always nice. So we'll go ahead and activate Toxic Shaman's skill and Divine, as well as Landslide Divine. So go ahead and just finish them off and gain a bunch of converted heroes. And right now, just... Stuck on the Arctic Lord Divine, which we'll go ahead and be showing with the healing shortly. But once we go ahead and just punch through this, the only thing that we'll have to deal with is the Guild Boss and the Ambrosia. But with the Ambrosia being as she is, with the aid that she has, she will not be a problem for my team. And now we have managed to punch through the Arctic Lord, which is always nice. So we're just finishing up this attack, and we won't have any sort of issue. For the rest of this space and we'll go ahead and come back once we finish this attack as well
All right, we have finished off this, and we're gonna go ahead and be attacking our third target of the day. We have two, sh we have one shotted two different bases, which is nice. I kind of wish I was able to actually target the keeps of the stronghold. Unfortunately, it wasn't quick enough though. Right now, I'm just gonna take a quick look at their ambrosia with a blockhead and a pangoli. Pretty good, but we're still gonna go ahead and be punching through this base like no problem. Right now, I'm going to be attacking the same way that I have been attacking the last two bases as well. I'm going to drop our landslide and try to draw as many heroes over as we can. Unfortunately, we we're only able to draw over one hero. That's alright. We're using all our skills as needed. In just a moment, I'm going to go ahead and activate Wonton Divine. And we're going ahead and trying to punch through this heroes here. Let's go ahead and see how far we can get through this. We have drawn a couple of other heroes over, which is nice, which helps out quite a bit. And right now, we have officially, pretty much, officially taken over the space. The only hero that could give us a little bit of trouble is the Great Sage now, but even he won't be a problem for us, especially since we have a Chariot. I'm going to go ahead and drop it right after the Great Sage. Perfect. Perfect timing. And go ahead and just wait for the Great Sage to finish, and we'll go ahead and activate our Chariot Divine. Go ahead and get a bunch of free rage that way. And it went ahead and be able to use our skills as much as possible during this time. Right now we're just finishing up this attack. The HP is dropping quite quickly, which is helpful for us. And we're just finishing up this attack and I'll go ahead and come back once we finish up with this attack. Alright, before I show the secret code of the day, I'll go ahead and show how we ranked in this guild. We did only rank 5th with 3 one-shots, but that is because Skell, <laughs> 8,800 points as he is, he did two, keep, um, 2 attacks on the stronghold and the 1 attack on the keep, on um, the bottom keep there. He just got quite a bit of points, but that's going to go ahead and conclude this video. If you like this, go ahead and leave a comment and a like. Other than that, I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.